Hey guys, Straight Plays here. Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be doing another Overwatch video. And this is going to be doing a suggestion that I got from Isaac Smith. And again, a shout out to him. Um, so today uh, I'm going to be doing a tracer guide. And as you can see in the background gameplay, um, I'm playing as Tracer, and I'm going to stay Tracer for this whole match. Even though I shouldn't, I'm going to. So, so yeah, see the, so there are, sorry, I've never done a guide before. So Tracer has um, a main weapon called the Pulse Pistols, I think, and um, you don't want to burst fire these because you can, you can burst fire these. But what you want to do is unload the whole clip like I'm doing here. Um, where you just go up to them and you just hold down the shoot button, which is by default R2. So you just hold it down until the enemy is dead, basically. And then she has two other abilities. Um, the R1 trigger on the PlayStation 4 remote um, recalls you and recall is a ability, uh, you might have seen me do it already. Um, I'll wait for it to happen and I'll tell you what that is and I'll finish explaining it. Um, if I do end up recalling, it would be very nice. And yeah, please recall soon. Um, yeah, it's a really great ability. And as you'll see in the gameplay, when I die, or when I'm about to die, I just recall. And if you see what I mean, it'll bring you back to the health that you are that you had three seconds ago and the ammo that you had three seconds ago. So you don't have to reload. I think I'm, oh, I was like, I think I'm going to recall here. So if you guys haven't seen me do it in my other background gameplays, basically the, most of the screen goes blue, except for like the main outlines and stuff. And your guns kind of float in the air right next to your hands, and you move backwards. Um, and it takes you back three seconds. And it doesn't look like I'm actually going to recall in this game. But um, Tracer has one more ability, and I know what you're thinking. Uh, we haven't gone over those three like little crosshair thingies. Well, oh, there it was. That was the recall. Um, those three little crosshair things. Uh, arrows. Well, the arrows indicate how many blinks you have. What's a blink, you ask? Tracer's third, second ability. And what it does is it kind of zips her, zips her forward a few meters or yards for yards for Americans, meters for everyone, for all the other English speaking people. Um, and it basically just glides you forward. And um, yeah, you get three of those, and they recharge every three seconds. So, Tracer has some strategy to her. Like, there's a certain way you have to play her, or else it doesn't end up right. Because Tracer, if you haven't seen, is extremely mobile and extremely fast. Like, if you can, if you see what what's going on, like if you've seen like gameplay of Reaper, Tracer moves much faster, and she can totally just destroy anyone. If she just she if she just stays mobile, she probably won't die. Like, say there's like a bunch of people, she blinks around them. Oh, she's hurt. Just recalls. She's fine. Like, it it's she's an extremely mobile character for extremely mobile cases, and she that's why she's offense. Like, characters like Soldier 76 and Reaper have low mobility. Well, even if they have low mobility, they, they still do damage because their their weapons are heavier and they do more damage. But Tracer is meant to go in the very, very, very front lines where she is there to distract them and make, make the enemies play off the enemy objective. So if you see here, I'm getting some of the enemies to come after me and not go after the objective, which is um, really good. Like Reaper. He he want his job is to, is the same as mine, but he's less mobile. He needs to take these people away from the cart. Well, I was attacking the cart, and um, so he focused away from me, and so my teammates got to the cart. So it started moving, but then they died. But 
besides the point, if you saw, if you see where I'm going, your point is basically to go around and kill people. Um, you still want to play the objective. Like, if you're in the point, like, if it's a capture, right, you want to go and capture because Tracer's really good and she's really mobile. So she can totally capture the point. But, you know, she's extremely mobile. And if it's like this right here, where it's um, escort the payload, you want to just hop around, zip around, be awesome, pretty much. Um, because Tracer, I think by far, is the best character, Trolley May. Um, okay, so... So I'm gonna go. I'm going to be going over some um, counters, or some counters for Tracer. I'm going to be doing some of the negative. I'm going to be doing some of the negative counters right now. So the first negative counter is with McCree, and McCree was made to counter Tracer. So when when you see a McCree, it means if he if, if he sees you and he throws his flashbang, it's sudden death because all he needs to do. Flashbang, fan the hammer. You're dead. Because that's the downside to Tracer. She's squishy. And there's one more downside, guys. She's wearing Crocs. Like, in combat. Um, so, yeah. She's extremely mobile. She does a lot of damage. Like, her pulse pistols do extremely large amounts of damage. Like, you could take out a tank like Roadhog with three clips, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe four. But, like, see, she just totally destroys everyone. And uh, when I'm on a good team, I to and uh, I can totally destroy everyone. And I, I, I've done this a little bit because I've only played for today. But I want to say I'm pretty good at this game. I got play of the game a few times. But besides the point. So, like, Tracer, Tracer is horrible against McCree because it's flashbang. McCree's flashbang is, um, basically stuns you, you can't move, you can't look around, and then he uses Span the Hammer. You'll learn about that in my McCree guide coming after Soldier 76, um, which is coming out tomorrow, I think. Um, but yeah, so another, um, matchup that you don't want to go against is Junkrat. Er, well, he would be a neutral magic, so I'm going to be doing negative, neutral, and positive matchup, and favorable, anyway, matchups, so that you know just just three matchups overall. So a neutral matchup would be uh, Junkrat, because his um, trap can trap you, and then he'll just totally destroy you, but you can just like blink around his trap, and you'll be fine. And, um, the last matchup would be against Mercy. Um, Mercy would be really easy as, um, an even matchup because she has a very, like, she's very squishy and she has very little damage. So, you know, she doesn't do much damage and she does heal over time, but it's still a very favorable matchup. So I think I'm going to end out the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please do tell me what hero I should do next or after Soldier 76. So yeah, without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one.